All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be on these knives, and these are the Gradation Cutlery Northfield number 77 Yankee Barlows. And first of all, if you enjoy videos on knives like these and just knives in general, make sure you click the bell and select all so you know when I post new videos. So, Gradation Cutlery did a run of this 77 pattern here in early 2022. And they did four different versions of the 77 Barlow. Two of them, which I don't have, were special factory orders for Collector Knives. Now, Collector Knives has always done the Northfield Barlow uh, since it was first made. So a while ago, Great Eastern Cutlery said that they were cutting back or really not doing special factory orders, but they still are doing them. They're just cut back. So when people saw that they were doing, Great Eastern Cutlery was running a number 77 Barlow, everyone was very interested to see, you know, if it was going to be a special factory order or not, or partly a special factory order and partly a regular run, like the recent run of number 15 TC Barlows. And it turned out to be the latter. Uh, half of them or two of the versions were special factory orders for collector knives. And those two were in stag and then olive wood. I didn't get those. I wasn't able to you know, get to the reserve in time on collector knives, but I was able to get the two regular run knives. Now, the caveat to that is I wasn't able to get them on any of the dealer drops. Uh, that's just become more and more difficult for a long time. You know, when a lot of people had trouble getting knives on dealer drops, I was still able to, but I have not been able to recently. So I wasn't able to get any of the 77s on dealer drops. So I went to the factory. I'm lucky enough to live relatively close to the factory, about an hour away. And I decided, I called actually about a knife that I had at the factory for warranty work and just asked if they had 77s available. At the time, they actually did have a non-S77 available still, but I went the next day. And at that time, they only had S versions. I'll talk about that in a second. But I wanted to get a 77 because I don't have one in my collection. I have had several and have, you know, gotten rid of them for various reasons. But it's a very classic knife and I wanted to get them. So when I went to the factory, I actually got this one. So this is an antique yellow saw cut bone. And so what is an S or a store knife? It's basically a second. They don't call them seconds, but that's really what they are. They don't carry the warranty and they have some kind of cosmetic defect. So they, they say that there, there's no functional defects in them. It's always a cosmetic defect. But first of all, I'll show you this pin. It's a pretty cool pin on this one, I think. Got the top hat, which is cool looking. But it's a cosmetic defect and makes it not have the warranty, but it's supposed to be fully functional. Now you might be noticing right away what makes this a second or store knife. Uh, it's this ring here, which is where Basically, they missed when they were uh, putting that pin in. Pretty much, I believe all of the ones that I saw of the yellow saw cut bone handles had an issue around that bottom pin, which was why they were store knives. Uh, so most of them, or all of the other ones actually that I saw, had chips surrounding that pin. So that's actually why I went with this one, even though maybe it's a little bit you know, more obvious. I think that it's probably a little bit more stable than uh, chips are. Uh, but either way, like I say, it's not a functional defect. Now, this antique yellow saw cut bone, a lot of people complained that the saw cuts were too shallow, and they are very, very shallow. You can see it when I kind of change the light on the knife, but you can maybe barely feel it. You really can't feel it. It's very close to smooth bone. The other thing is that these are very dark. The die job turned out very dark, which is traditional, definitely traditional. And I actually think that it looks okay, but I think that it's not exactly maybe the, the most attractive version of antique yellow uh, saw cut covers that, that Gradation Cutlery has done. You can see there's a little bit of yellow up here where it has been hafted to fit with the bolster, but it is not perfect not i guess not perfect but not not as vibrant or not as colorful as as you might want it to be now this knife is otherwise pretty much 
functionally perfect as far as I can tell. I, I don't see any gaps on it, even you know between the bolsters and the handles. Uh, it has a nice pull of about a five, snappy, doesn't seem to have any blade wrap or blade play, and it even doesn't have a proud tip. Now, some of them were pretty close to pr having proud tips that I saw at the factory, but this one didn't, and that's another reason why I went with, with this one in particular. Um, so overall, it's a nice knife. It's very classic, um, and you know, just a, a very classic knife. It's a, a Barlow that looks like a Barlow could have looked a hundred years ago. So I do enjoy that, but honestly, I'm, when I left, I wasn't sure why I went with the, with the saw cut bone instead of the Cocobolo. And I'm not going to say this, this wood, right? So, you know, you can tell me how you're supposed to say it. If you want, I'm going to keep not saying it right. So actually a, a friend that lives in the same town as me was able to help me out. And I was able to get one of these also from the factory. That's a store knife. And I actually really like this one. I like the look of the Cocobolo better. It's more vibrant, I guess. Uh, again, I'll use that term. Now, when I first got this one, I wasn't 100% sure what the, made this an S. I thought maybe this here was a crack. But looking, I don't really think that it is a crack. I think that it's just, you know, the grain of the wood. Maybe there's a slight crack, but it doesn't actually seem to go all the way to the bolster there. Either way, it doesn't look like it would cause an issue. What I actually think makes this an S knife is that the stamping wasn't perfect on the thread here on this bolster. So you can see that it has kind of some vertical lines in it. It's elongated as compared to the other side and as compared to the antique yellow saw cut version. So I think that's what makes this one a store knife, but this is functionally a very nice knife. I, I think that I'm going to carry and use this one. Uh, no gaps that I can tell. Very well centered on both of these also, and this one, no proud tip. Uh, you gotta love it. This one has a lighter pull, actually. I would say this is maybe like a four and a half close to a five, but more like a four and a half, maybe. Uh, snaps pretty well, no blade play that I can tell, no blade wrap that I can tell. And there is the etch, as you can see, it's a scroll or script, whatever you call, basically cursive uh, Yankee Barlow. And then the top hat, which is really cool. And another cool thing about the Cocoblo version is that you can see that the edges are beveled and uh, i think that that's really cool i think that it will make it actually a little more comfortable in hand in use not a huge deal you know practically but just a an interesting little detail that the covers are beveled along the edges there and overall i think that the the cocoblo is the one that i prefer the look of and both of them are very classic again I think these are very traditional Barlow knives. Um, if, if someone saw these knives 100 years ago, they would look probably just like the knives that, that they saw in everybody else's hands or pockets. So I think that Gradation Cutlery did a good job on these. Unfortunate they're, that they're so hard to get and that I had to get store models. I kind of have a role for myself that I don't buy store models because I had I bought a store model that ended up having a functional issue. And, you know, it doesn't have the warranty, so I wasn't able to get help with it. But I wanted to get a 77, and, you know, I needed to get my knife that was there for warranty anyway. So I'm happy to have gotten these, uh, especially this one. And again, thanks to Seth for helping out with that. But um, I think that the 77 is one of Gradation Cutlery's most classic patterns. And I want to show you real quick a comparison to the 15. You can see the 77 is just a little bit bigger. Not a whole, whole lot bigger, but definitely a little bit longer and a little wider. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can also give the video a thumbs up and leave any comments you have. Make sure you check out my so other social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts and my website, knifethoughts.com, where I post articles on knives like this and knife related topics. I am trying to <laughs> stay active on, uh, on the blog this year. I had a Kind of a big break from August to December, but it was a uh, a busy time for me and my, you know, 
actual normal life. But anyway, I plan to have lots of articles this year. And uh, thank you as always for following along. And last but not least, don't forget to go out and do good.